Welcome to Sam's Russian Adventures. I'm Sam, an English guy living in provincial Russia, and today's video is going to be mostly filmed here at my house and around the streets near to my house. If you would smash the like button immediately, it would really help my video to get shown to more people. And also, consider subscribing. So today has been one of those days. Well, it's been one of those two days, to be honest. But today especially, I was supposed to be going to three festivals. Luckily, I gave one camera to somebody to go to one festival. That left me with two festivals. But I had a crazy situation where I was driving down the road and my tire blew. And I was pretty frustrated because I just paid for my tire to be fixed and it blew. And then I had to get my tire changed. I had the temporary one put on and then I had to drive home, get the second complex of tires, go back again. Oh, and it just like took ages to do. And by the time I'd done it all, there was no point in going to the festival. So this is my best friend. My best friend. Oh, best friends forever and ever. Hello, Moan. What are you cooking? Fish. Fish. You uh, bought the fish or? We catch it. Ah. Wow. So I've discovered a secret stash of cat poo in my garage that I didn't know was here. I haven't opened my garage door for a long, long time. And look at this, it's absolutely insane. My cat is crazy. Look at that, it is, it is insane, it really is. So that is all cat poo. So I thought I'd go for a little bit of a walk around the block and tell you about the other bad things that have gone wrong today. So as you can see, it's gonna be a pretty negative video. So another thing that went wrong today is the fact that my YouTube video was blocked. They said it was gonna be blocked only in Russia, but it seems that it was blocked everywhere. So. My upload that I uploaded today, Saturday, the peak day, the best day to upload, is a really, really good video and it really shows how life is changing in Russia. Really enjoyed the event that I went to, but no one could watch it because some of the background music in the video apparently got flagged for copyright and therefore the video got blocked. One of the people in my Telegram chat group said to me, Sam, when something goes wrong, it all goes wrong. And well, I didn't make it to the festival. My tire is blue. My video got blocked. What else could go wrong today? And I'm quite fearful because England are playing the quarterfinals today of the European Championship. Are they gonna lose like 5-0 or something like that? This behind me is one of my favorite houses in this little area where I live. There's loads of different strange houses, some really cool, some really not so cool, some massive, some small, and this is one of the, I guess, strange ones, but it, it's pretty nice and interesting too. There really are huge contrasts here in Russia. This garden's very nice, isn't it? And here, as you can see, I just walked past these cars a minute ago. They are both Chinese. This is a tank, and this is an Exceed. I really respect people in Russia who try and make the area in front of their wall look nice a little bit because it's not often that you see that. So my friend Marwan, his family are actually staying with me for the summer. Uh, they've come to Russia for three months. They're staying with me for around two months probably. Um, and the reason they're coming is because they actual, they're actually dual citizens. So they're Russian citizens and they're Yemeni citizens as well. They live full time in Yemen, but they're here now for the summer because unfortunately their house received collateral damage from a bombing. Uh, I'm not allowed to say who it was that did that, but unfortunately their house is a bit ruined at the moment. So they're staying with me for the summer while their house is repaired. Doing what you want to do, not what the not what the people want. 
Ksusha, turn around, show us you. Oh, yes, Nayo. Yes, Nayo, Ksusha. So I found Ksusha on the street. About 16 years ago, my friend said, Sam, the type of cat that you want, that you like, well, I've seen one like her, basically, on the main road on the way to Moscow. Should we go and pick it up? So we went there and uh, she was all dirty and small and dirty. And we picked her up, brought her home, gave her a shower. But unfortunately, because she lived wild for so long, she, um, she was used to going to the toilet wherever she wants. So she goes in and out and she goes to the toilet in the right places, but also goes to the toilet in the wrong places. And so quite often she'll leave for me surprises, but um, I never expected the surprise that I got today. That was a, that was a very big surprise. Ksiusz. Ksiusz. Oh, Ksiusz. 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 Ksiusz cat, you're the best cat in the world. I've got a load, we've got loads and loads of portions of Hinkali that I was supposed to be taking to my friends at the festival and they're going to be hungry now. So it's been one of those days that I think I'm going to grab myself a beer and then get this portable toilet that I take camping with me and go and take a dump in the garden. Wait, we've got some poo inside it already, I think. What is it? Oh, it's a cat. Ksusha. So my one caught this in the lake. So my one, what's the uh, fish called? Carp. Carp, oh, okay, cool. In English, I think it's also called carp. carp. Yeah. Right, so this is a uh, hinkali. You can see this one's fallen, the meat's fallen out inside. So I know that someone's going to say, why is your TV so crap? It's because I don't watch TV, ever, apart from New Year and uh, if football's on. Okay, so it's the next day. It's Sunday morning. So actually, you're going to get this video like straight off the bat. I'm going to film it and upload it and uh, Saturday evening was a lot better than Saturday daytime. England won, if you're an England fan or if you're a football fan you'll probably know so that's a great thing and uh, then last night I went out and made a video with some of my friends and it was a really good video, I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> Not much talking, lots of showing, so I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, something I want to talk about, which is really important to me, is something that I've noticed a lot with uh, comments in the videos, and that is stereotypes. And uh, we all know the typ typical like stereotypes about Russia, right? But a lot of people, even though they don't believe the stereotypes, seem to believe some stereotypes, which is which is interesting. I think even a lot of people who um, you know, don't believe the stereotypes that Russia's a shithole, still believe some of the other stereotypes. For example, when I'm going out and I'm making these videos and I'm filming, right? So if I'm on the street and I'm filming uh, women, for example, yeah, going up to them, asking them questions, right? That does not mean that these women are dying to marry me, uh, you know, and in love with me. These are normal women who I'm approaching on the street, maybe being nice to like the last video, I bought them an ice cream and it was like an ice cream trade off, right? I buy the ice cream, then I ask them a question while they're eating the ice cream. But it do, just because the women are friendly and beautiful doesn't mean that all of those women are mine. No, not at all. Just because people are more polite here, just because people are more friendly here, it doesn't mean that all dying to marry a foreigner and leave the country. And so even a lot of people who think that all oh, these uh, Russian women, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people write to me comments like, I'm definitely moving to Russia, Sam, all these women are amazing, they're, you know, they're all in your hand. No, they're not all in my hand, okay? They're not all in my hand. They're just nice people who answer the question on a video. And the same thing when I go to a, a club, right? I'll go to a club and I'll maybe make a video and I'll speak to people in the club and there'll be beautiful women there and they'll answer a question, right? It doesn't mean that I'm trying to pull them. I'm just going up to them to ask them a question on camera because I'm filming. Just because I'm in the club doesn't mean I'm in the club 
partying. I'm there with the camera. I'm there to film, there to create content for you guys to see what it's like in the club, see what it's like in the bar. And I, I get lots of comments from people saying, oh, Sam, you know, that girl's incredible. She obviously wants you. You know, I'd love to come to Russia so I can have the chance to get with a girl like that. And, and the thing is, I know the backstory, right? I know the woman. I know that she's married. She, I know, I'm friends with the husband. I know that, you know, a husband is a, you know, a sportsman, multimillionaire, you know, uh, that has, and she travels all over the world. She doesn't have a desire to get with a broke English guy, you know, but because of the stereotype, because of the stereotype that's been built up about Russian women, that they're all beautiful and dying to leave Russia or get with a foreigner, even though a lot of people, you know, don't believe the stereotypes about Russia being a shithole, they still believe that all the Russian women are dying to marry a foreigner. And it's not true. And um, yeah, it just, it just makes, it makes me laugh when I get all these comments saying, Sam, this, this woman is dying to be with you. I can see it. You know, you must be blind. You, you know, how can you not see that that woman's dying to be with you? And I think, well, because it's my best friend's wife and uh, she's not dying to be with me at all. And then one of the other stereotypes is you can only show so much of Russia in one video, right? You can only show so much of Russia in one video. So if I show uh, a back road, right? We go to the lake and there's a back road there. Evan will say, look at the roads, they're shit. You know, I'll be like, well, that's because we've gone to a back road. You know, and then if I show uh, a mansion, they'll be like, oh, you deliberately just showing you know <laughs> deliberately showing Russia is trying to be rich I'm like right so it, it seems that I can't really kind of win um, because whatever I show in that video people want it to be a representation of all Russia in that one video and it's not possible you know one video be one video will be about food another video will be maybe in a massive supermarket and they'll say why are you trying to show that all Russian supermarkets are massive I'm like no I'm not I'm just in a big supermarket in this video and then in the next video i'll go to a small supermarket and people people will be like why are you showing that russia's only got shitty small supermarkets i'm like i'm not you know i can't make a video at the same time go in every car go for, for in a larder a moskvich uh, a bmw a porsche and a ferrari all in one video to show that russia has all different types of cars and then in the same video, when I call in at the corner shop, I can't, at the same time as like, I'm just gonna pop in the shop and get a Coke. I can't pop in the shop and get a Coke, pop in the uh, mini supermarket and get a Coke, pop in the hypermarket and get a Coke, and then pop in the village supermarket and get a Coke, just to show that there's all different types of supermarkets. Okay, if the video was about supermarkets, comparing them, then maybe I could, but <laughs> you know, it's not realistic for in every video to show every aspect of Russia in case someone is angry that I'm showing Russia in a, too positive or too negative way so yes yeah, so that's the thing I want to get off my chest anyway um, I uh, another thing that I wanted to touch on is if I'm going out and I'm uh, filming women that again does not mean that I'm going and pulling women again I'm filming women because I'm out and I want to ask people questions and I don't walk up to strangers men usually and ask questions because I'm a man and I've been taught that men don't really go up to men and ask them questions. It's a bit weird for me. Um, so yeah, so obviously I go up to women because I'm a man and so therefore I can approach women and speak to them. But again, it doesn't mean that I'm out on the pool. I'm out with the camera making content for you guys. That's why I'm doing it. If I didn't have the camera, I wouldn't be walking around town approaching all different women. I wouldn't be offering people ice creams in the center and doing that stuff for the camera for the video and so yeah um, there's a difference between reality of living and creating content now that doesn't mean that I'm not a nice person in real life of course I am I try to be friendly I make gifts and do surprises for people that don't expect them and I just try to be a genuinely nice person but if you're watching the videos and thinking Sam's out on the pull all the time that isn't true I'm approaching women on the street with my camera to ask them questions so that you guys can learn about things to do with Russia. So if I'm making a video where I go to the street, buy women ice creams and ask them questions, this is specifically 
for the video so that you guys can get the opinions of the Russian people. I already know their opinions. Of course, it's great for me to meet people and to chat to people, but I'm not out there on the pool. If I'm not filming these videos, I'm not running around town speaking to girls all day. I'm speaking to them specifically for the videos. So anyway, that's just what I wanted to say and get off my chest. Um, this video wasn't really about anything in particular, apart from the fact that my uh, last uh, video got banned in Russia and loads of other countries. So I suggest you go back and watch that video and um, maybe just put a VPN on if you need to, to watch the video, because it really was a good video and I met some amazing people and had a good time. Riding off into the sunset, or, or not. Seems like they're having a bit of engine trouble. Скажи, она как жена олигарх, да? Видели, как жена олигарх? Да, so anyway, I don't know if you enjoyed this video. It was obviously a bit different to usual. If you have, then consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and check out my future videos because I've been creating loads and loads of content recently. I think the video that I created yesterday, going to bars with my friends, will probably be uploaded tomorrow. And also, Go and check out the video that I uploaded yesterday. You might have to use a VPN to watch it, but it's a, a really, really good video. Also, you might want to join my Telegram chat group. In that chat group, you can ask me any question, and it's just kind of like a, a daily kind of like vlog of, of my life in Russia and uh, different aspects in Russia. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing, liking, leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.